So I was just counting like how many books I have to haul today and uh, they're like up to here and it's 38 and I wasn't expecting that. It's like a combination of stress and Christmas money. Also, um, I've been, this has, this is sort of since November, so it's not like I just wham bam collected all of these just now. Anyway, hi guys, it's me Chrissy and I'm here with a book haul. I'm treating Michelle. So, um, yeah, I, I divided these, um, oh by the way, if my eye kind of annoys you, I just woke up with kind of a irritated eye, so yeah, that's it. I don't know why I have to say that, but I just felt like I needed to say it. Um, I divided these into used book haul, the uh, regular bookstore, and then uh, stuff I got in the mail, and one for free. We'll start with the free. Um, I found by F. Chanel Jose Poon in um, the little free library in the mall. So then I just saw it, and then I just grabbed it, and I found this also with Dog Eaters by Jessica Hagedor, and I was like, who the heck gave away the freaking Jessica Hackett and Poon? Like, what? What? So, um, I took it. There was this old woman who was like staring at me, just like, just putting these books in my bag, but you know, they're for free. So, I, but then I went back, um, a couple days later and then I put in some of my own books that I wanted to give away. And then up next we have Woody Allen, Side Effects. Got this in the mail. This I'm in my mail pile now. And then, um, I got... Slow Days Fast Company, The World of Flesh and Ellie by Eve Babbitts. I got Carrie Fisher's Wishful Drinking. I was able, this was like a steal because like this is so expensive. And then I was able to find it um, on one of my online bookstores. And I was like, yes. So, yes. I was actually worried about that because um, I ordered it right around um, the 20s. Like... December 19 or 20 and so I was worried that it wouldn't come on time and then uh, this one I believe is from Aklatan I order from actually I would love to order more it just so happens that <laughs> shipping and um, it's the passion of New Eve by Angela Carter and this next one I think is from Morang because Morang uh, always has a little maraming salamat post-it note thing. It's very kind of them actually. And I have been waiting my entire Christmas week to unbox it or unpackage it here in front of you guys because we all we all love a good slice of like book mail. <sighs> I remember just watching uh, these book mail videos and being so jealous because I'm like, I wish we had bookstores like that too. And turns out we do. I just didn't find them yet. Um, the suspense. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. This is a, okay. Stoner by John Williams. Introduction by John McGahern. I have been wanting this book ever since I uh, watched the review by um, Be uh, Better Than Food book reviews and uh, his channel. Like it, uh, the books he reads. Uh, yes, I have it. So that's it for mail mail time. Okay. Um, up next we have the normal bookstore, not the used bookstore, um, where everything is full price. Um, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. And you, as you can see, they always put it in plastic to like preserve it so people don't read it. And then um, by Rio Alma, Dust Devils. This is a bilingual selection of poems on youth. And actually, it's the same poem in English and Tagalog uh, on different places. So this one here is the Tagalog version and this here would be the English version. So I would really like that so that I could um, learn Tagalog better. Uh, Tagalog is the national language of the Philippines but it is not what I would call my native tongue. It, my native tongue would be uh, 
the island dialect and it's not Tagalog so I, I need to learn more Tagalog and this is a great way to do that with like the exact same poem translated and I'm excited for that and um, this one is actually a product of stress uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald the curious case of Benjamin Button and tales of the jazz age and then I got Hmm. There's lots of um, music going outside. One of my neighbors is playing Christmas music so loud that it's practically my background music as I walk around my home. So it's like, yes, best, Christmas pa more. So um, I have <laughs> Arthur Conan Doyle, The Return of Sherlock Holmes. I've read uh, the other Sherlock Holmes uh, that I bought from a friend. But um, I didn't really think I wanted to read more Sherlock Holmes until I saw the price and I was like, you know what, that's cheap enough, let's just get it. And then I got uh, Cinda Willems' Chima Shadowcaster, a Shadow Realms novel. This is a cover change from the Flamecaster. <sighs> I guess that's how long it took me to buy between books or how long it took to come here. As we all know, my little rant. Um, and then Jane Unlimited by Christine Cashore. If you have not read Graceling by Christine Cashore, what are you doing with your life? I'm seriously asking you that because like it's fantastic. It's one of the it's one of the books that defined like my teen years because it's it was just so different. And One Dark Throne, the sequel to One Dark Crown. Um I mostly just get this because it's about three sisters and I have two sisters so we're three sisters so that's why and then um, funny enough here's here's another rant about my bookstore um, so there's this series called the great library by Rachel Kane and guess what shows up at my bookstore book two paper and fire so of course I'm seeing this book and I want to get it but I'm like Where's book one? It's not there. It's been this has been in my bookstore for a year now. A year. Just sitting there. Book two. And then yeah, was that yesterday or like two days ago? I found book one. It just arrived. Merry Christmas! Such fun! Such book. Such a delay. Okay. I'm, not, I'm just gonna stop writing because like, I want to have a happy Christmas and I need to I'm not sure if I can put this in focus but look that that is a stack it's all the way up there it's as high as my head higher actually um, so we're just gonna very gently oh this one yeah this was a surprise this was what I'm ending my year of book buying on and I couldn't be happier That is A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I have um, another copy of this in a different version, but this is the version that I've always wanted to get, and so I have it now. Ah, yes. I'm so happy about that. And then uh, The Vesuvius Club by Mark Gattis. It's pretty much like an English Don Juan who's a spy. So, yeah. At least that's what I gathered from the blurb. And then, uh, The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. Book sale. These, the, the big stack I just showed you and everything I'm showing you now is all from the used bookstore. And let me tell you, it was a good month. It was a good month. Months, uh, November too. Um, I found The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis. Um, the Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Uh, Virginia Woolf, A Writer's Diary. I actually found this during Nonfiction November and I wanted to read it, but then Patty Smith like took up most of the whole month. So I'm excited to read this maybe for the next Nonfiction November. Um, the Prophet, I mean Prophet, the, the Life and Times of Khalil Gibran. It's a biography. Um, D.H. Lawrence, Lady Chatterley's Lover. I actually keep finding all all of these versions of Lady Chatterley's Lover like all over the place and I'm just like is that like is this the book of my life is this I have never read it so I'm like and I see this the version of this book like 
almost all the time I go to the bookstore. Not because I look for it, it's just there. And then I'm just like, why is this book following me around? Is this like, is the universe trying to tell me something? Because that's messed up, man. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, Lady Chatley's Lover is about a woman in a loveless marriage who gets permission from her husband to have an affair. So, like, I don't know what that says about my life. Um, the Loner, Loner at the Ball, The Life of Andy Warhol by Fred Lawrence Giles. Hopefully for next month, fiction November. The Witches by Roald Dahl. Um, the Penguin Collection. Stories by, it's 12 short stories by William Boyd, Jonathan Coe, Jim Crace, Robertson Davis, Sheena McKay, Vladimir Nabokov, Will Self, Muriel Spark, Donna Tartt, William Trevor, John Updike, and Barbara Vine. What I'm planning to do with this is actually read one short story a month because it's 12 stories. So I'm like, it's my 12 stories of 2018. And then I found uh, Wolf Watching by Ted Hughes. It's beautiful. This was only 20 pesos. And then I, when I saw it, I'm like, should I get it? I'm like, of course I'm going to get it. It's 20 pesos. And winna, winna, girl, I found the passion. Finally, I knew like I knew I was gonna like if I just waited long enough for national uh, for book sale to get it, I would find it, and I found it. I found the passion. And um, the Azu the Azusa Street Mission and Revival, the birth of the global Pentecostal movement. That would actually be helpful for like people in church. Um, Gertrude Stein, Three Lives and Tender Buttons. You know how hard it is to find a Gertrude Stein in 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 this Yeah, okay. That it, she's very hard to find. So I was like when my best friend just read, she just put it like on top of the stack and she's like, Here, that's for you. I'm like, I love you. And uh Ursula Legin, gifts. Um The Accidental by Ali Smith. It looks like a tattoo. And the inside is pretty too. And then uh, Getting Even by Woody Allen. The Iron Man by Ted Hughes. This video is already kind of getting a bit long, so I'm just like rushing it. Um, Flannery O'Connor, Wise Blood. And then uh, Isabel by Guy Gabriel K. This was like right on top of the, the book. Um, stacks when I walked in, and I was so excited because I'm like, oh, it's Guy Gabriel K. And then I see uh, Katie. Uh, I think I forgot her channel name, but I know her name's Katie. And then I was, and she was just saying how this was the worst book of the year, one of the worst books of the year for her. And I was like, I just got it. Oh boy. Well, I hope I like it. But maybe that's why the price is so low. Um, and then I found stories of John Cheever. And the back is his face. And ooh. Someone's home. Um, and last but not least, The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I will not lie, this was stress. I just saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh, Scott Lynch buys it. I have one like right here and I was supposed to read it this month and it's right here. And I'm like, I guess I can sell it. So that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around watching me treat my shelf and I hope you guys treat your shelf and you have a good new year and a happy Christmas and um, you know a great reading year. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. I will see you guys next year. Bye!